hey guys welcome back to Xamarin guys so in this tutorial we are going to create a rating control inside our Xamarin forms application so rating control will look like this now let's integrate the font icons inside our Xamarin forms application as my in previous tutorial we have integrated embedded fonts inside our Xamarin forms so in this same way will be downloading our web fonts from this URL I'll give that URL link in my videos description below you can just check that so this is the TTF file that we will get after downloading I have just renamed it to material design icons .ttf. you can see over here then after downloading it you have to drag and drop and then change that to embedded resources that's all now after you download your material design icons then you have to convert your icons to the C sub code. So this was my file that was downloaded. I'll just select that and open that same file. Then we'll get our C sub. You can see over here. Then we just need to copy to clipboard that is over here. So I'll click on that. So all the constant strings are copied whenever we click that button then we'll create one folder name as icons and a class name as my mutual icons so the icons that were copied now we'll paste it over here so press ctrl plus v we are all done with integration of material design icons now it's time to export our font that is material design icons.ttf font so that we can use inside our whole app so this is basically way of embedding font inside our Xamarin forms application so it is defined inside xamarin.forms and here my icon allies name is simply a name which will be called inside our main page.xaml to tell that we have integrated our font so this is basically a Xamarin forms basic app so which gets started from main page.xaml you can see over here we have a label whose text color is fdcc0d it's a basic label then we are going to span that label that is we are going to put five icons inside that same label you can see over here we have span text as my star 1 my star 2 my star 3 my star 4 and my star 5 so each star has tab gesture recognizer as 1 2 3 4 and 5 it is basically telling that whenever I click on star 1 then tab gesture 1 is to be triggered so here are the tab gesture recognizers you can see over here then whenever the app gets initialized at first we are going to tell that we are going to call each star with outer line color like it won't be selected so my star 1 you can see over here my star 1 is with my material icon dot star outline that is the outline of that specific star it's not a field star it's just like an outline which will be called from this specific class file that was downloaded from our material design icons .ttf. so my star one is with star outline it is not filled it is basically telling that at first whenever our application loads we are going to tell that star one two three four and five is going to be star outlined then whenever our first star get tabbed you can see over here then i am going to fill it with like okay the our star one is filled with dot star this is basically a filled star for our first tab so same follows for the second so whenever we click on second star then the my star one and my star two is going to be filled and you can see over here the rating point is just a simple integer which will tell that okay this button was clicked that is rating point was selected so this will be used for our dynamic binding it's not really required so here you can see that my star 4 whenever it is clicked then 4 stars will be filled and uh, the last remaining will be outlined and same follows for the fifth star when user selects fifth star then 5 stars are going to glow and the rating point will turn into fifth integer now if you want to make it dynamic that is if you are going to change it dynamic like 
if you get some api response at that time you will send this integer value over here in this condition as case 1 2 3 1 5 4 and 5 you can see over here now if you get one star then you will pass into this case condition so that your star glows as per the number that was passed through the constructor you can see over here if the case one is there then first star is going to glow then all the stars are going to be outlined and the second case is going to be telling that two stars are going to glow and same follows for fourth and fifth we have our case zero and default as same that is whenever the app initialize at that time we will tell that star outline will be there that's all for this tutorial now thank you guys thanks for watching keep in touch for next tutorials